elf and you get to meet a, a radio celebrity like Spike O'Dell and he was delightful and it's on it's on YouTube you can still look uh -huh, at it uh -huh. still out there and um, he was on the uh, Comcast homepage for one day uh -huh. next to uh, Donald Trump he was in between D Donald Trump and Barack <laughs> Obama was Yoda, the picture of Yoda and uh, he's the biggest celebrity actually uh, they call him the girl was head <laughs> Quite some and, on, and, and on the down, and then a week later, it was on the front page of the Downers Grove Reporter, uh -huh. the whole page, whole page article, uh, and, and we're thinking, what is going on? You know, <laughs> this cat, we, yeah. This, we get this little cat that we really they wanted to fly us this, to this New York uh, on the Today it, Show, but then Barack Obama announced his vice presidential candidate at the same weekend and blew us out of the water. Oh. Yeah. We got contacted by Ellen DeGeneres' show. Well, I think Barack Obama, President Obama, owes you a, <laughs> yeah. a visit to the White House then. Oh, that would be nice. way of recompense. Yeah. I Any, think that might be... Anyway, we just, we just couldn't get over it. It was so, so interesting. And then every <laughs> few months since then, we get... Something. Something. Because yeah. you know, yeah, like it's out Na there. National Geographic for Kids came. And uh -huh. that was in a summer issue. And then following that was Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh -huh. And following that was Animal Planet. And every once in a while we get... We think it has died down we, and then get, something uh, else pops up. We get up. invitations for something else. And this is sure. the... So you guys are having a ball. We are. And, and he's, are. he's sort of completely chilled out in his basket. Yeah, and yeah. Couldn't care less. Uh -huh. And I think <laughs> part of the moral to the story is, you know, when when you get a gift like this, and it's a little unusual, just accept it, and uh, be glad for it instead of, uh, you know, he, he really has been a gift. Uh huh. That's a wonderful way to look at it. <laughs> and you probably would have a hard time going out and trying to find a pet that could uh, provide the entertainment that this cat has provided. Mm -hmm. For yeah. many, just, many, many people. You people. just couldn't go out and get one. I don't care how far yeah. you looked. But for you, I mean, for you as a couple, it got dropped. Got it got dropped in our lap. <laughs> just did. Just and we didn't know it. I mean, we we had no idea. Well, we loved him, but we didn't know other we people did too. We <laughs> didn't know that was going to happen. No, how could you know? How could you know? And my son actually named the cat. We were going to name it Barfly. <laughs> and uh, Glenn took one look at his ears and said, oh, Mom, that, that's Yoda. you got to name that cat Yoda. I'll be done. Well, it's very apt. I think yeah. people would agree that it's very uh, I think that helped, that helped with the, with the publicity. That could be. That, you know, the connection to a famous for some, movie you know, character. For that to become that Internet sensation with millions. I, I think Spike O'Dell said when he checked uh, the Google website, there were 26 million hits in uh, in a few weeks. Unbelievable. You know? um, it's unbelievable. It was just really, really crazy. And uh, we got emails. I got an email from a friend of mine that lives in Osaka, Japan. Wow. And he says, I saw your name in the newspaper. <laughs> uh, there was a lady in Arkansas, some little town in Arkansas, who moved away from here, Jean Jeannie Jones. Uh, oh, yeah. And she moved away five, six years ago. Uh -huh. And she called me up and says, Ted, is that you? <laughs> you know, is, is that, have you read this story about Ted and Val Rock? I don't, and it says, it's got to be you. I said, yeah, Jeannie, that's us. <laughs> yeah. And then you try to explain the story. And, uh, the, the, it's the, very the, difficult. The, their, yeah. heads, their heads are spinning they because they... They can't quite wrap their heads around. Yeah. yeah. We got um, a communication from a gentleman who keeps a scrapbook. He was from some town in England, mm -hmm. and he sent us an American $10 bill, a 3 by 5 card, and um, a return address envelope because he wanted Yoda's pawtograph. He, okay. wanted, he wanted us to put it on a stamp pad and stick it on this 3x5 card because he had Yoda's picture and he needed to have the photograph for his scrap. To go with the picture. So <laughs> that's a Yoda great wasn't idea. very happy about it. It's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, Yoda, did, Yoda does not like photographs. We've, We've done a couple since then. At least he didn't, didn't ask you for an erograph. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been trickier. <laughs> Oh, and we've my. received thank you notes from people all over the world. Thank you for rescuing the cat. What a wonderful thing for you to do. So. Well, the idea of 
rescue. I mean, it was. It, it's interesting. Rescue can happen in so many ways, and you know, we we who work at the shelter see people come in every day, and we're very grateful uh, for the people who do come in and give animals a home from the shelter, but a lot of animals out there never make it to a shelter. And That's true. who knows uh, what Yoda's fate might have been if you hadn't happened to stop in that day and We've thought about that. Give him a chance. Yeah, I don't you know, like give him a chance. It, I... um, he could have been just turned out to the, to the street and become a feral cat and which is a very difficult that's yeah. a real hard life um, for cats that are really not very well suited to be living in the world. And anybody picking him up wouldn't have known that he was going to have that notoriety. No, of course you, you not. Wouldn't, we certainly did. Uh, and you would have looked at him just as Wow, this cat looks really strange. Right, right, and and I'm not sure I want. Especially to, given the way people were reacting in the bar. I'm not bar. sure. I'm not sure I want a strange cat. Yeah. Maybe I'll just take a normal cat. Right, right. Which clearly the the one lady, you know, everybody uh, else who took kittens from that litter, sure, all rejected him. Wanted, they wanted a normal cat. There may have cat. been a genuine yeah. concern about whether yeah. the cat would, you know, have other things wrong with them that might mm -hmm. be expensive to fix. But unless you're a vet, you wouldn't even know, you wouldn't even know to think of that. Yeah. We, know, we really. Did, that was not part of our decision You, did, you didn't think of it. No. <laughs> no. You were, no. You, what if he's no. sick? No. Well, he voted and you voted. <laughs> and that was all we won. Took. We won. Yeah, that was, that was, it's I a think terrific he won, story. So he's got a pretty good life. It sure looks like it. It sure looks like he does. <laughs> Is this your It's interesting because my husband is not really a cat person, and he, um, to have him say to me, I want this cat, was, the, I would have taken it in a heartbeat, whether he had funny but ears or not. But you were probably biting your tongue. Yes, to because he had said, we had had this like agreement, cat. no more kitties. Because we had the dog and we were, you know, they say you're not truly independent until the dog dies. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So I was keeping my mouth shut, and then he turned to me and said, Valerie, I think I want this cat. For heaven's sake. Yeah. <laughs> and the cat didn't snuggle up to me, he snuggled up to you. I think he knew. He knew who yeah, he had to win over. We had to win over, yeah. You know, it's a, it is a funny thing about cats, they do seem to have a sense of kind of what they need to do to win us, to get their way. Here. Yoda. Oh, here. Yeah, no more butt shots. There you go. What she got over there? He really is <clears throat> a very entertaining cat, though. Just to have around, he's a lot of fun. Um, well, the funny, it, it, it's... As you can see, he's, he it climbs on everything. Uh-huh. And yes, he's do. not very well disciplined, but <laughs> neither are we. It doesn't seem like it's troubling to anyone, particularly. But what is interesting is that it, it, it's, it seemed like, like it's a case of let's do a kindness and take this little guy home. And it was an impulse. It definitely was. More than anything else, but now, it's clear that you're totally in love with this oh, cat. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. 
especially my husband, I think. Who's not the cat person. Who's not the cat person. <laughs> well, maybe he was just a latent cat person. You didn't <laughs> know you were a cat person. <laughs> but he did. Because he's wise. Yeah. True. And I think that it was the... the The funny thing is the the um, picture that went around. He was about a six-month-old kitten. Mm -hmm. He's um, and he looks kind of devilish in that picture. Mm -hmm. However, he is sitting on the top of a crash. Oh, for heaven's sake! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Nobody knows that, but you and me. <laughs> so the devil cat is sitting oh, on top for of a crash. <laughs> See the crash? Actually, That's the roof of the crash. Sake. Oh, for <laughs> heaven's sake. sake. Yeah. See, he's actually on the, on the roof of the crash. You just can't really right tell. Oh, yeah. my goodness. <laughs> so there's the devil cat. On top of the baby Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so disturbing. Yeah. Really disturbing. Oh, that'll really get people going. <laughs> There's almost no explaining the world fame of an otherwise ordinary four-eared cat. The internet gods smile on very few. Untold numbers desperately strive to achieve the very kind of notoriety accomplished by this cat with a modicum of assistance from his human associates. Around the world, artists of all stripes tear their hair in frustration at their inability to attract the attention of the global street that is YouTube. Yet a genetic anomaly, without benefit even of opposable thumbs, however briefly, became the darling of the pet-loving planet. And we all enjoyed the moment. To Ted and Valerie Rock, Yoda is a gift. In the game of unlooked for consequences, this is surely a doozy. Instead of being punished for their good deed, as the cynical saying goes, they have been richly rewarded, not in wealth, but in joyful experience, and deservedly so. Nicer people you couldn't find. We could all learn something from their example. Go ahead, follow an impulse. Do something kind for another creature and see what happens next. You might be surprised.